there was no money, you know, there was no money there. It was not like we'd been saving up to open this theater. It was very much, we had moved to Manchester. We fell in love with the city, what it was doing. And, and we felt like we didn't want to carry on being waiters. You know, we wanted a little bit more. We wanted to be more creative. So, so when we found the space, we just, we were so ready and we had hyped ourselves up so much that we could actually do this, that we sort of just went ahead and did it. Our space is um, incredibly versatile. So we sort of, our seating bank um, moves around and it's basically a, a space, a mill space that we've turned into a theater, but pretty much every show um, is pretty much different. People use the space entirely different. So hair was very much, um, obviously, because it's got the famous nudity in, in the show, um, it was going to be possibly, one, uh, to our knowledge, one of the only versions of the show ever done where it's in an intimate setting. And then most, most recently, we in-house produced um, uh, Yank. We are really passionate about the shows that we programme or the shows that we produce um, have a future afterwards. I mean, we've talked a lot about our, our shows coming to London and... and that's been an amazing opportunity, but we're also really excited about um, our shows potentially transferring out on a regional level as well, or um, maybe on a touring sort of level. Um, I mean, sky's the limit. I would really love our work to be international one day, but you know, one step at a time.